Just in case you felt like everything was equal, King Charles III will not have to pay any of the 40% UK inheritance tax on the massive estate he just inherited. Residents of the UK have to pay 40% of any estate that's inherited over 325,000 pounds. About $374,000. 40%? but it's taxes for thee and not for me. They say the estate is worth 18 billion pounds or something like that, but that seems highly unlikely to me considering that this family has been royalty for over 1,000 years. And people say, oh, they're not political. You know, they don't have any power. They're just a representative of a bygone era. Yeah, not paying a 40% inheritance tax sounds like a little bit of power, but whatever. Meanwhile, the inflation rate in the UK is marked at almost 10%. Milk, cheese, and eggs at a 14-year high. People obviously suffering, but no 40% for the king. The king? I'm sure the estate is worth what they say it's worth, considering King Charles is inheriting literally all the dolphins and whales in the UK water. <laughs> the best seat in the house at Wimbledon, the Tower of London, Trafalgar Square, a winning team of racehorses, a tiara covered in 1,333 diamonds, the world's largest clear-cut diamond, 150,000 works of art, including priceless ones, priceless, millions of square foot of retail space, 25,000 acres of forest, nearly all of London's Regent Street, half of the UK shoreline, the British seabed, an offshore wind farm, the UK's continental shelf, all of Scotland's gold mines, $10 billion worth of real estate, including Buckingham Palace, 600 Fabergé eggs, 200 Lawner handbags, no tax! 